done this are those even i feel like i haven't done this in a little while it feels weird i'm feeling a little bit shy so we're just gonna ease me back into vlogging today i'm excited to be back we've got so much to catch up on i obviously just had my birthday and went to copenhagen which you will have seen in some kind of montage footage i honestly the fact that i genuinely i had a full month of vlogtober videos planned out for you guys i fully intended to do vlogtober and then i remembered that i'm doing this alone and i can't do this <laughs> so i'm kind of laughing at the poor amount of footage that there is from copenhagen and from my birthday because i fully intended originally to be vlogging those and um, maybe i would have done a better job had i actually really committed but it got down to the wire and i was like i actually can't do this like i don't have the workflow capacity to do this so here we are a week into october and i'm finally coming out with some kind of vlog i'm a bit all over the shop at the moment i'm not gonna lie i just had the most amazing birthday and i'm feeling very good from that like still riding that kind of happy content feeling but i'm also really busy work wise like i have so many things on this month and i'm so i'm genuinely so excited but also just so basically i'm just I think what I'm feeling is very overwhelmed with lots of different feelings. So you'll just have to bear with me for this vlog and I hope that I can pull something together for you. But um, I thought we'd kick things off by putting some makeup on my face. Which, by the way, can we talk about my skin? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some like before and after photos. The skin and me thing, like I am not contracted to be talking about this. They asked me if I would do one set of stories, that was all. I have been asked to do but I genuinely am so impressed like I don't like it I love it it has been so good for my skin it's probably the best my skin has looked in years like genuinely the best my skin has looked in years put some more foundation on this forehead so yeah I am very very happy with how things are going like I actually took some photos of my makeupless face yesterday I was like I actually feel like I look cute this is this is rare. Anyway, tangent. We're gonna get some makeup on. I'm gonna unbox some things today because I've got so much post to open from where I've been away. Um, also addressing the elephant in the room, uh, which is these these bad boys, which I will show you in full later once they're done. I'm gonna do a full um, home update once everything is kind of like a little bit more done this month because these are not staying like this. Um, I kind of said it in the Zara video, but I should have been more specific. Like they're not green and gold they're not green and gold this is like raw mdf so when you when you see it up close it's got like writing all over it and stuff like they're not staying like that i think it's cool i think that colorway would be really cool but um it's just not what i actually had in mind for this room um we're going with white and then maybe at a later date we'll do something darker but not right now we're going with white to begin with because i still film a lot in here but hopefully once i eventually don't film in here we can do something really fruity with this room but right now i need it to kind of be like a little bit more bright and airy which is hard because it's not facing and barely gets light <laughs> so yeah life update had my birthday it was really fun i don't want to give too much of like a life update because i feel as though you've already seen a lot of went on but if you do want to like hear me talk about my birthday and uh, my birthday trip in full um today's podcast episode has the whole shebang um so if you want to go listen to that it's also things that i learned or have realized how very kylie jenner of me in my 31st year on this planet i had to work it out right so your first year on the planet like takes you up to age one so when i'm saying 31st like it makes it sound like i'm 32 but like in my, my head gets really confused but 31st year is right it wasn't my 30th year because that would have been when I was 29, you know? Does that make sense? I hope I got it right anyway, because that's the title. <laughs> it would be a bit embarrassing if it's wrong. But anyway, I have a full podcast episode up on my birthday and everything that I have like learned this year, things that I have realized about life. So if you wanna go and listen to that, I will link it in the info box for you guys. That is what I've been up to recently. Other than that, just been a little bit stress trying to catch up on work and also just sorting out some absolute disasters like i always have some kind of weird technical kind of issue in october or just some kind of like weird issue and the weird issue for october 2020 what well, year away 2022 so far has been that i accidentally made my mortgage payment twice <laughs> so i basically spent 
the entirety of Monday trying to sort that out and it was all very distressing. <laughs> yeah, I literally, I hate October. It's meant to be the best season for me. I really, I'm not, I don't vibe with it. I dread it every year because I know something's gonna go wrong and maybe that's like self-fulfilling prophecy. I don't know, but yeah, so that happened. Disaster. Weirdly though, absolutely love Virgo season. Like always thriving during Virgo season. Libra season, absolutely chaotic, but maybe that's very on brand for Libra season. Anyway, if you don't care about astrology this conversation will mean absolutely nothing to you but if you do care and you can tell me why on earth this happens to me i would love to know but anyway i'm very excited to show you today what i picked up whilst we were in copenhagen because i did a little bit of shopping and i would fully it was not supposed to happen i fully didn't intend on that happening but yeah i'm excited to show you what i got if you haven't seen already because i have filmed a short but i don't know when i'm gonna post that so maybe you've seen already who knows i've been absolutely desperate to show you guys because i've started using it already and uh have to hide it in all of the photos but it's so cool also i just quickly need to take a moment for two makeup products that i have been obsessed with lately number one the nars light reflecting foundation in the shade salzburg this foundation honestly this is such a nice foundation it's like the perfect mix of like weightlessness light reflecting not too dewy but not like matte and it doesn't like look unflattering i am absolutely obsessed with it so yeah this is let me zoom you in so you can see the skin i'm obsessed with it it's actually slightly less dewy than it's coming across but i've obviously sprayed my face with the rare beauty always an optimist mist because that's how i like to blend everything everything just blends so nicely when i do that i really need to sort my nose contour out i am aware the coverage is so nice i'm i'm very very obsessed with it and then i'm also obsessed with this concealer from hourglass oh, it's so good it's so creamy like it's made me so i'm gonna zoom you zoom you out i now really want to try the foundation because this is so creamy i love it i absolutely love it so i really want to try the foundation now i need to also get this concealer in a lighter shade because it's quite dark so at the moment i can only use it on my forehead and like the upper part of my face where the bronzer goes i can't use it on like the lower part of my face but um i don't need much concealer there anyway so it's fine but i love using it on my forehead because it just makes the skin look so smooth like the consistency of this concealer is just incredible it makes everything look so flawless if you are going to ever invest in a luxury concealer it might need to be that one it might be an all-time favorite still i absolutely love this one too this is more lightweight if you want to think more everyday and buildable that feels like it's weightless this is amazing like, absolutely incredible but if you want something that's a little bit more like really really flawless it looks so good they both look so good in photos but it looks so good in photos i've never used a concealer that is like this so if you are looking for something that is like completely flawless i would highly recommend this the armani one is gorgeous but it's more like an everyday um concealer for me yeah these three they have changed my makeup routine if you're going to invest in anything invest in those so i just finished getting ready and i thought i'd quickly show you what i got for my birthday I didn't get a lot, I didn't ask for a lot, I mainly asked for flowers and cake. Um, so my mum got me this shower gel because she knows I've been loving the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia um, fragrance. So she got me the shower gel. I am going to smell amazing. I got some tequila. Tell me you're a shot kind of girl without telling me you're a shot kind of girl. Uh, I got a cute little party hat got these uh i'm so excited to try these especially this one i think i'm gonna have to try this tonight it basically looks like it's gonna be like a dairy milk caramel bar and i'm excited to try that I haven't tried these before looking forward to that and um, these i have had so many times and i love two people two separate people bought me these <laughs> everyone knows that i love them so much my favorite one is this one 
tastes a bit like almost coffee-esque. Oh, it's delicious. They also do a new one that's like Biscoff flavor. It's unreal. Let's see, I got those. And then I got a Lola's cake, which is the vegan red velvet. Uh, as you can see, it did not last long, but it was so good. I also got these little flowers and these flowers and these gorgeous flowers. Ryan got me these. I am obsessed with them. They're so stunning. Vic and Alex also got me some coffee syrup, which is just such a lol. Like they know I'm basically the human equivalent of Buddy the Elf. And I think that was everything. I don't think I got anything else apart from my brother basically took all of our family videos from the 90s. I think it was the, yeah, the 90s. And that's when you were growing up, Suze. And um, he put them all into like digital format for me so that I can watch them, which is literally the best thing, the best thing ever. And I know it was slightly torturous for him because he hates watching himself back as a child but um i really appreciated it and i absolutely love it and it's just the best thing um i love watching like especially the bits of my mom not so much me and my brother we're annoying as anything but i love watching like my mom and dad back it's just really cute and i love it and to my future children if you're watching this you won't ever have to suffer putting things into digital format because i've already put it on youtube for you let's go through some oh this is not the right shot <laughs> Susie, you need to pay more attention. I don't really need this jacket on. I don't know why I have it on. Literally just photographed my outfit for the day and then ended up in my outdoor clothes indoors. Anyway, I've been sent to a lot of things whilst I was away. I thought we could unbox them together. So we have a little delivery from Dior, which I am so excited about. They have sent through I can't tell you guys how happy I am about this because I've been trying to hunt one of these down for months and months. I used to have it and uh, then it went viral on TikTok and I was like, oh, it's fine. I have that like that. I'll, I'll give that another go. And I've given it away, haven't I? So these blushes, I don't know if they're back in stock. If they are, I will link them. But this is the shade Rosy Glow, which is uh, one of the ones that Kylie Jenner talked about. And now they're basically impossible to get hold of. Um, and you all sent me that one. And then there's like a corally one, which looks really pretty as well. Ooh, very pretty. Um, but I'm really excited to try Rosy Glow because I don't think I ever actually really tried it i don't remember maybe i did but i'm so excited to try this because apparently it's a blush that looks good on everybody i don't know if i believe that like how do you know unless you're a makeup artist how do you know but i'm excited to try it um you'll probably see it in like a short or a tiktok if i do and then i picked up a full like how do i describe this a full like bodysuit what do they call them like a is it a jumpsuit? I got this from a brand which I think is called Skin. The reason for this is because I saw Kendall Jenner wearing this look which I will put here and I was so obsessed with it that I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to recreate that with layers of course because it's chilly season but um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. I hope that it's cute. I got a size small. Though I think Skims have also just unsurprisingly, because obviously Kendall was photographed wearing and stuff, I think Skims have just produced something very similar that's coming out. So you know I will be putting both to the test. So we've got, oh my God, this which I am really, really excited to try out. It is basically like a light up mirror. And I've been wanting to do more beauty content for a while now. And sometimes the lighting is just so dead. And I know going into the winter, it's going to become even more problematic. So I thought this would be really handy. And the reason I really like this is because it comes with this like phone holder situation. I'm hoping it's gonna be amazing for making like more beauty content. So I'm really excited about that. It also comes with a like magnifying mirror. I've got a little stand and all of the bits for it. So I'm excited to try that out. And I have a lot of trips coming up as well. So I think that will be really handy for taking away with me because sometimes hotel lighting is just so dead. So I think it's gonna be really, really useful, not just for at home. Okay, I am so excited to open this package. I can see who it's from already. 
Oh, oh no, Monica Vinada have very kindly sent me some pieces. And this section of the video is gonna contain a paid for integrated partnership with Monica Vinada, who I am so excited to be partnering with again because I love their jewelry so Please hold. Oh, sorry about that. The window cleaners turned up. They have excellent timing. But anyway, as I was saying, I love Monica Vinada and I love their jewelry so much. So many of you will know. I have been wearing their jewelry since literally almost the start of my YouTube channel. I am the biggest fan. They have sent me some gorgeous new pieces, which I'm so excited for. Oh my God. There's so many pieces. Where do I start? Oh my God. Let's go with the big boxes first. This feels like Christmas. Oh my goodness. How stunning. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see. I don't know if it's going to pick this up on camera. The texture on these is just beautiful. So Monica Vinader have their Ulta collection, which is so stunning. And they've just released this. They have the Ulta pieces, but like textured. And this is just absolutely stunning they have like different lengths oh my goodness that's just stunning i will leave a link for everything in the info box below we also have another altar necklace in silver which is so gorgeous as well i think they'll look really cool layered up together and then we have the altar bracelets one in silver and then this incredible one in silver and gold that is going to look so cool oh my god this is so pretty oh how perfect is that this is beyond stunning it's silver i think it's got the diamonds in it oh that is just beautiful um i love it and then we have this gorgeous ring again in the silver how beautiful is that these two look so cool together hello noisy girl do you want to come and sit she is mildly traumatized by the window cleaner when i say mildly that's probably understatement of the years is what i am going to be dealing with all day she's she's not happy okay you're just gonna sit on the jewelry yeah okay cool dog mum life then we also have this gorgeous pendant which will fit perfectly on the end of the altar necklace i am so excited to start all of this up i can't even tell you guys another ring if you are looking by the way for dupes of everything that i have been wearing all of my like silver rings that i've been wearing this month monica vinada have got you covered because mine are obviously like super super old you can't get them anymore whereas these you can get right now so if you're looking for a dupe of the kind of stack that I've been wearing recently. They've also sent me a full set of earrings for me to stack up. How gorgeous are these little chunky hoops? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. And then we've got these really sweet, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see these, like, hang on, these beautiful little stud earrings. I don't know what the stone is on the end, but it's just absolutely stunning, like a real autumn winter vibe. And then we also have these silver bars as well, which I just think are so cool. I literally just want to put them all in right now. This is what I was wearing earlier. These are also from Monica Vinader. They're my favorite silver hoops. They're like silver with little like diamonds in them. And they're absolutely stunning. I'll link those if you want to get your hands on them as well. These have all arrived just in time for date night, which I'm very, very happy about. I'm literally so excited to start everything up. I can't even tell you guys. This is, uh, this is actually stunning. Like this texture, now, oh my God, absolutely stunning. I really want it in like the shorter chain as well. That would be so gorgeous, like to have layered together. Oh, if you want to pick any of these pieces up, I will have them linked in the info box below for you guys. And thank you so much to the Monica Vinader team for all of these lovely pieces and sponsoring this video. Like honestly, it's just one of my dream brands to work with. So I'm a very happy girly right now. Anyway, my last thing to unbox is the elephant in the room. So I did not intend to go into Chanel whilst we were in Copenhagen. I literally was just using the building as a backdrop for my Instagram video for my outfit of the day. And I saw this in the window and I just loved it, which is so interesting because this bag I normally like hate quite passionately. It just reminds me of like a PE bag, which is an item from my childhood that I associate with very bad vibes. Like PE was not my vibe. Physical education, not my kind of thing. Found it mildly traumatic if I'm honest. So PE bags, not really something that I ever was particularly like, yeah, that seems appealing to me, you know? However, I saw this and 
I couldn't get it off my mind. So this is the Chanel 22, I believe, in the gray tweed. I'm holding it the wrong way around. Let's turn this around. I've obviously just put it back in the bag for the dramatic effect because I've been using it and loving it. But how stunning is this? And I thought it was quite fitting that last year I bought a bag that I normally don't like and I bought it in tweed because that's the only material that I liked it in. And I've done the exact same again this year. I also love like the chain on this is stunning and it's got this little coin detail, which I just am obsessed with. I just think it is beautiful it's like so nice like for casual everyday use but it still manages to elevate an outfit like i tried it on with i had i'll put the photo here of when i tried it on and that outfit is like a staple for me at the moment and i know it will be throughout the winter and i was just like yes this this is the vibe this is the whole vibe it actually did work out a little bit better buying it in copenhagen which i was surprised by because everyone always talks about how expensive it is to buy things over there it worked out pretty well the only sad thing was like i had to ditch fully ditch the box because it was just so much to try and carry home so yeah obsessed it was a real treat to myself and i'm now on a full like bag fan she says anyway this is what the inside looks like like it's super roomy i've still got all the padding and it helps it to like keep its shape i love like the pop closures like there's several little kind of pop closures which i think are so great in terms of like keeping the bag a little bit more secure and actually it's one of the few larger bags i have that actually has the ability to close at the top and you know what else I love about it is I don't have another bag in this size. Like if you have watched my bag collection, if you haven't seen it, I will link it at the top of the screen. A lot of my bags go from like this kind of mid size to very, very large. And I don't really have much that's in between, but this is actually like the perfect in between handbag size. Like I'm trying to think the only other bag that I've got that's near this is the Balenciaga City and it still doesn't fit as much like this fits so much because it's so slouchy you can really kind of like get a lot of oddly shaped things in it as well it's really beautiful will it wear well i don't know but because it was my birthday i bought this as like a real treat to myself i just absolutely loved it i think it is so stunning and one of those bags that just makes like any outfit look cool so yeah, very happy with this i love how it's just like really casual but very kind of like chic all at the same time so i just think is a really great one in terms of my own like personal style so that is my post open that is what i got for my birthday i need to go and get ready now because ryan and i have got like a little date night situation tonight and i need to get some work done find out what the date night vibe is is it casual are we making an effort are we going in our pajamas i need to know i need to get ready for that and then go i'm really hoping the date night lifts me out of my funky mood done a lot of boring admin things and I'm excited to talk to you and do something that doesn't stare at a computer screen. Anyway, we have a plan of action for this evening so we know the vibe, so we know we're going chill. Um, so I'm actually going to leave the outfit on that I have on and just kind of like style it up. I'm going to use my jewellery to really elevate it because I'm just wearing a very boring Zara tank top. So I've got my earrings in and I'm very happy with those. I have actually put one of the bars up in my top ear and I think it looks so cool. I really like it. Um, and then I've got these little silver uh, studs which are also from Monica Vinida. I will link them in the info box. Let me see if I can zoom you in. So we've got the little chunky silver hoops, this little stub which I'm just obsessed with. The color of them is so gorgeous. I feel like it's not coming off on camera but it's stunning. A little silver stud and then on this side we've got the same chunky silver hoop one of the bar earrings and then the little gorgeous pearly one again so love those very happy with them for necklaces i am going to start off with the alter 
textured necklace because she is the real showstopper here. I'm actually gonna go for a full like mixed metals situation because I was really inspired by the altar bracelet in silver and the 18 karat gold for me. I'm obsessed, I love it so much. Um, so I wanted to kind of channel that throughout the rest of my jewelry as well. Now this silver necklace I'd actually seen on the website styled up in a specific way with this pendant. However, I really like the look of these two layered up with another one of my necklaces as well. Then I'm gonna take this necklace, which is also from Monica Vinida, and this is gonna be my top layer. And I just love the way they look and sit together, it's so gorgeous. Like that, I love it. I love how different each of the necklaces are. They all add a little bit of detail and texture. And instead of putting this on my necklace today, I am going to put it on my silver bracelet. And one of the reasons the altar collection is so amazing is because you can literally just add on charms. You can take away links if something is too long, like they're so customizable. And I just think that that is amazing. So I'll show you my outfit in for in a sec, but first we're gonna do a little makeup touch up. I'm gonna start by lining my lips. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Yeah, I haven't worn this in so long, but I'm in a little bit of a Charlotte Tilbury mood. I need a mirror. My eyesight is not good enough for this. Oh my god, I love this lip liner. I always forget how much I like it. I've been using this on and off for about three years now and it really is just gorgeous. And then I have a few options. Really tough to decide because they are all so wildly different. So really it's between Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess, English Beauty, or Penelope Pink. These are gonna be like the base color. And then I have KKW or what is this? My Tweedy, which is a MAC powder kiss to kind of like put over the top and layer up. Now, you know what? You can't beat your old favorites. This is Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess and it is the best Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. For fragrance, I'm gonna go for Killian Angel Share. This is just lovely and soft, so really unoffensive, really great for if you're eating. It smells like a toffee apple. It's one of my favorite fragrances to wear this time of year. It's just the most autumnal. It is like coziness in a fragrance. It's absolutely stunning. So this is my little outfit of the evening. We've got the Zara uh, tank top on that you will have seen earlier. I've got a pair of Zara straight leg jeans on, which I just love. They're so, so comfortable. And then I'm wearing them with Uggs, which I love. Whoever made wearing Uggs and jeans acceptable, I love you, thank you. Then I'm doing something that might feel a bit backwards to some people. I am just wearing like a coat over the top. I feel like most people would say there needs to be like an extra layer between like a tank top and a coat, but I actually just really like that kind of look. I really like the way the outfit looks this way. It's just very like chill and casual. And I love the way the jewelry has just like completely elevated the outfit and added a little bit more interest, especially around the neckline. I'm obsessed. And having this mixture of gold and silver helps the silver earrings and silver rings to just blend in really, really nicely as well. These are the rings that I've got on my left hand. And then this ring I have got on my right hand and I'm obsessed. If you could focus, that would be fab. And I just am so obsessed with this. I just think it is incredible. The bracelet situation is just making me so, so happy as well. And then of course, my bag of choice. It's got to be this one. I love it. I love the way it looks with this outfit as well. It's so cool. It's just so cool. I just love it. Anyway, that's enough from me for now. I'll be back with you in a bit. <laughs> agree or disagree people that sit here in the cinema red flag people oh no we don't want to sit there no way ah. oh god it's not just that they're red flag is it? <laughs> they're also gonna have like really bad necks as well yeah but that's the red oh fuck <laughs> but that's the red flag like if they're like who's willing to put themselves through neck pain for a movie 
I don't agree mm -hmm. either. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. This cinema has had a makeover and it now looks like something out of Stranger Things and I freaking love it. Cheers, thank you. Are you ready to see the snacks? I'm ready to see the snacks. This one? Nice. It tastes like this one. I was talking about this one earlier. Very good. It's the orange one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you wanted the caramel! <laughs> going back in the bag. Going home. Frere Rocher's. Best ones. And that's it, because I've fudged up. We've got fudge? Mm. Uh, we have got popcorn though. Done? She going to watch, watch the film now? Yeah, we're going to see Don't Worry Darling. I don't know why we're going to see it. Because I really wanted to see Harry Styles. Because you love Harry Styles. Bye. dark chocolate Cornish sea salt almond butter left so it may have to go with the shredded wheat you know and I'm about one minor inconvenience away from like just eating the remainder of my birthday cake as well so on that note I forgot to vlog my dinner last night I was so pissed off Ryan was like you're not very good at this vlogging thing are you and I was like no I actually need someone to follow me around and film me at all times because I apparently cannot do it. But yeah, we went to Nando's and it was delish. I was starving, so it tasted extra, extra, extra good. But we went to see uh, Don't Worry Darling at the cinema. It was very, very good. I really enjoyed it, even if I think it might give me nightmares on so many levels. It was really good. I would highly recommend. I don't know if like everyone says it's good, but I think it was good. I wish I had fruit with this. Oh wait, do I have blueberries? Yes. Okay, we have fruit. Fantastic. Honestly, nothing makes me sadder than a meal without fruit or veg. Is that weird? Probably a bit weird, isn't it? So I've just finished filming a coat haul sneak peek, but look how cute it is over here. And how not cute it is over here. Apart from this little one, she's very cute. I actually wore the jumpsuit um, for when I was trying on some of the coats. And this is what it looks like. I love it. It's not too low cut as well, which I also kind of like, although part of me wishes that it were just a fraction more, especially with my jewelry that I'm wearing today, which I love. I decided to wear the silver necklace and pendant in the same way that I saw styled up on the Monica Vinida website. And I absolutely love it like this. So um, there's two clips on either end of the silver necklace and you can either like clip them together so it just runs around in a loop like a regular necklace or you can clip one of the clips to any of the like loops on the chain and then have the necklace like run slightly longer and then put something on the end which I just thought was such a cool idea. I always love their styling ideas and I've just kept uh, the rest of the silver jewellery that I was wearing yesterday on as well and like the silver earrings. So we're going very silver today and I've decided I'm just leaving this jumpsuit on because it's so nice and easy to wear. I think you'll see me wearing stuff like this a lot this winter and I just can't be bothered. The only difficulty is obviously when you need to pee, well, what do you do? But I'm wearing this with some mango boots which I was going to get rid of these a while back and I'm so glad I didn't because they are just gorgeous and they work so well with like any kind of like legging or skinny jean or whatever and um, I really like them with the jumpsuit and it's very like Kendall Jenner 
vibes if you know you know i mean you probably all know because i've not stopped talking about it and i probably mentioned it yesterday but i thought i'd show you how i'm gonna style this up this afternoon i have thrown on an oversized h&m leather jacket i was gonna wear my cropped bershka one because i thought that could look really cool i just went with my gut i preferred the oversizedness um the cropped jacket kind of felt like too much of my figure was on show and it's not a bad thing, but I just, that wasn't the vibe today. Not being Catwoman today. I've also just thrown on my beloved Balenciaga bag because it just works so well with an outfit like this. And I love the black and silver detailing. And I've just got my YSL sunnies on, my go-tos. So yeah, this is today's outfit. Just really simple, but like, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, that's what I'm wearing today and that is what i'm basically wearing for seeing my mum and doing the biggest load of editing anyone's ever known if anyone actually cares to know what youtubers do in their spare time it's just sit at a computer and edit it's actually for people that vlog their lives it's the most uninteresting you could probably be so i'm off to go do that now and i'll see you guys later <laughs> just got back from having my hair done i feel like i am refreshed i feel like a new woman i'm not even joking when i say i feel like a new woman i feel like i've had a breakthrough this week i have been feeling what have i been feeling how do i describe <laughs> what i've been feeling i've been feeling very overwhelmed very worried but i've had a bit of a breakthrough in like the last 12 hours i literally made one decision that has just changed my entire frame of mind at the moment so i'm feeling really good i've just spent the afternoon the afternoon like an hour or so having some real tlc on my hair so it's back to being nice and brown again because i had this done uh in my last vlog if you haven't watched that by the way it's one of my favorite vlogs by the way sorry i flicked between looking here and looking here because i actually don't know where to look uh as a vlogger where do you prefer me to look because i feel weird looking like I have a weird eye contact thing. It's something I've noticed recently. It's probably something really wrong with me. Let's not open that can of worms. But yeah, so if you'd seen in my last vlog, I had my hair dyed all pretty and brown, and then I went to Ibiza and I really effed it up. Um, the sun there is just different, and it was really annihilating, like, the highlights that are underneath all of my, like, various different layers of dye and stuff like that. Um, and it was really coming out. But hopefully we have done something a little different this time. So we've got a lot of number sevens on my hair um and then like a golden seven apparently through the end um so it should hold a little bit better now especially because the sun has like kind of done its thing for the summer so it's not really having like summer sun on it again anytime in the near future i have zero plans to go anywhere warm for a very long time sadly see so yeah, it was all nice and dark now i've had some more layers put through it as well but yeah feeling fresh that is gonna be it from me for this vlog because it is so long already. I've been editing it together, just like looking at the timestamp, like, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> so I need to go and edit this uh, pronto because I would like to have a free weekend. But anyway, I'm gonna go now. I hope you're having the best day. Love you, bye.